safari guide today. How's everyone doing? Good. Awesome. If you notice above you, there's an animal spotting guide. Now these are animals that we may or may not see today, so hopefully we'll have some luck. And if you do have any cell phones, cameras, anything that takes pictures, please be sure to hold on to this tightly because unfortunately here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, we cannot stop at any time for anything that is rock. Also a couple of rules we have here. Rule number one, please make sure arms, hands, feet, paws, and tails are inside the vehicle at all times. Rule number two, make sure that you do not stand at any time. Rule number three is please don't call for the animals. Any whistling, clicking, anything like that to get their attention. And then lastly and least, let's have some fun! Alright, now we are entering the tree forest where there are many shy animals. So they may be behind some bushes or trees, so keep an eye out. Alright, let's see here. Oh, if you look to your right on the corner there, you'll see an okapi. The okapis are very shy and reclusive forest animals. And many people may think they're related to the zebra because of the stripes on its legs, but it's actually related to the giraffe. The watering holes are a great way where animals love to gather together, so hopefully we'll find some nearby. Oh, look to your left, you'll see a black rhino. The black rhinos can weigh up to 3,000 pounds right here, and they can charge up to 35 miles per hour. Now, unfortunately, due to poachers, there are less than 5,000 left in the world today. Alright, coming up here on our right side, you'll Aww. see these light brown animals. These are greater kudus. Right here, coming up. Oh, and there's another black rhino on your left. Aww. The greater kudus can leap over eight feet, and they can leap up to eight years in the wild. Another black rhino on your left side there. And then coming up ahead as well on your left side, you'll see these animals with more of a rusty coat color, fur coat. Those are bongos. Now bongos are known as the ghosts of the forest because they are rarely seen. So we're pretty lucky to see it today. And they are the largest and most heaviest forest antelope, weighing from 500 to 900 pounds. Safi River area where we may be able to find some animals above the water, but also below oh. the water. So let's see what we can find here. Now one animal we could find over in this area is a hippo. Now hippos are the largest and most dangerous African animals. And they do spend most of their days underwater. Oh, there's a couple on your left side. They're underneath the water, but they'll probably pop up too. There they are. Now hippos stay most of the day underwater. Oh, look at the one way back there yawning. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> the hippos can spend up to at least eight minutes underwater. And here on your left as well, you'll see some birds. Those white birds are pink-backed pelicans. They're commonly known for the pink backs during mating season, which is usually around the wet late season. And their wingspan can reach up to seven to nine feet long. Now you may notice some vultures around here and they have their wings spread out. Now the reason for this is that they're they are keeping their feathers dry. Now coming up ahead.
and here on your left side we'll see some Nile crocodiles. Oh. The Nile crocodiles can live up to 40 years and they can reach up to 16 to 20 feet long. And you may notice one in the back with its mouth open. Now the reason for this is that they're regulating their body heat because they do not sweat. Now crocodiles are quite powerful so with one bite they can break the bones of their prey. Now that is a bit intimidating so we're going to continue on and try to find some more nicer animals. Here on your right side, you'll notice a very large tree. Right here on our right. This is the baobab tree. It can go leafless for nine months and it can store water in its trunk. And it's known as the tree of life. Mm. Now it does look like we've entered the savannah where we can find some commonly known African animals such as giraffes, zebras, lions, and many more. So let's see what we can find. Now those tall animals that you see there, those are giraffes. Let's get a closer look. Now giraffes are the tallest animals in the world. The babies can reach up to six feet tall. Is anyone six feet? Yeah. No? Oh, we got one in person. As tall as you. <laughs> and then the adults can reach up to 18 to 20 feet tall. Now I'm sure we don't have any 18 to 20 feet tall people here. <laughs> now these do look like they're Maasai giraffes. And the way we can tell by this is because of the mixed match pattern on their fur. Now once the babies are born, it only takes about an hour for them to get up, walk, Run and play. Now it does look like there may be something on our left side coming up here. Let's take a closer look. Oh yeah, laying, laying down right there on your left side on the ground and there's a couple underneath the den are some African wild dogs. Let's get a closer look. Now African wild dogs are also known as the painted dog because of their beautiful unique pattern on their fur. A couple underneath the den and a couple in the back. Now they are quite friendly but they'll only be in packs of 5 to 15. Then coming up ahead here on our left as well you'll see some sable antelope. Now they are the emblem of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve and they're commonly known for their dark coats. The older they get, the more brown it gets. Now you may notice this very tall structure right here on our left side coming up here. That is a termite mound. The termite mounds are made out of spit and dung, which is pretty gross. But the animals love to use it as a scratching post. And although it may look like it's quite sturdy, oh, here comes a giraffe. How neat. Now giraffes are pretty fast. They can run up to 35 miles per hour, but only for a few miles. Now with the termite mounds, although they look like they may break easily, they actually don't. They're, or I mean, excuse me, although they look like they're pretty sturdy, they actually break very easily. favorite thing about giraffes is that they only sleep for 30 minutes a day. They can sleep while standing, sometimes sitting, but never lying down because it would be a bit hard for them to get up in case of an emergency. Now looking up on the hill there on your right side, you'll see those gray animals. Those are white bearded wildebeest. They're commonly known as the wild beasts in Afrikaans. They also can go by new, that's spelled G-N-U, because of the deep noise they make, which sounds like a They do tend to be in larger groups, but that is because they're helping each other out, looking out for any predators that may be nearby. Some will look one direction, while others will look another direction. 
and those animals that you may see with the very large horns way in the back of the hill there or some underneath the palm trees right here those are Anguli cattle that they're commonly known for their large horns their horns can reach up to four to six feet long and although the horns may look like they're quite heavy they're actually hollow inside is a deep it's a honeycomb structure which actually allows it to be a cooling system for them the blood will circulate through the horns allowing them to cool down there's a couple more underneath the palm trees there Look up on the hill Now at night time, those gray animals, the white bearded wildebeest, they will sleep in rows, which actually allows them to get up quicker in case of emergency. Now it does look like we are entering Monkey Point, or we could be able to find some mandrels nearby. The mandrels are commonly known for their red and blue faces. Both females and males have them. But the males tend to have more of a brighter face. <laughs> the mandrels are the largest monkeys in the world. They do have stuffed tails. And they have pouches in their cheeks, which allows them to store food and snacks for later. Oh, it looks like there's a couple in the back there. Oh wow. Can tell by this is because it is all alone. The females and the babies tend to be more social, while the males tend to be more alone. The mandrels do have canine teeth in the front, which are two inches long. And although they use it for self defense, they also use it to smile to other mandrels. Day. 
and they do have very sensitive skin. So sometimes a little fling sand on their back, allowing that mud and dirt to be kind of a sunblock for them. And you also may notice that they wiggle their ears. The reason for this is that they're actually cooling themselves down. Wee. Just like when we get hot, we use a band to cool ourselves down. The elephants do the same thing. They're driving in the water. They wiggle their ears, allowing themselves to cool down even as much as 15 degrees more than we are. Coming up ahead here on your left, you'll mm -hmm. see some greater flamingos. Fox. Yeah, they are quite social during the day and also at night. Uh-oh, roadblock. Their diet contains mostly of shrimp, oh. which has keratin inside of it, which allows their feathers to become more pink. And then you may notice that tan animal there on your left side. That's a Patterson's eland. There's another one on your right on top there. The Patterson's eland. Both females and males have horns. Oh. living on protected lands. Hello. Now flamingos do lay one egg once a year. And it takes about a month for them to hatch. This Patterson's Zealand trying to decide what to do. Of rhinos, look on your left, there's a couple. Those are white rhinos. Now, white rhinos can weigh up to 5,000 pounds and they do not see very well. And a group of them is called a crash, so that makes sense. <laughs> now, now, rhinos' horns are made out of keratin, which is the same material made out of our fingernails and our hair. You may notice that they have mud on themselves. They do the same thing like elephants. They roll around in the mud, allowing it to be a sunblock for them. All right, now if you look way up in the top there, towards the back, you'll see a cheetah lying down. Here comes a couple more cheetahs. Right here. Right there. The cheetahs are the fastest land animals. They can run up to 60 miles per hour. And, uh, and unlike most big cats, they actually hunt during the day rather than at night. get a better look. Now a lion's roar can be heard from five miles away. And although the male tends to stay home to take care of the territory and the cubs, the female will go out and hunt. And coming up here on your right side, you'll see some zebras. Right here. The zebras are quite powerful with one kick break the jaw of their competitor. There's a lion right there on their left coming up here. Whoa. That's a the lions do spend most of their days resting and sleeping, female, right? even up to 16 to 20 hours a day. Coming up ahead on your left, you'll see some warthogs. Yeah, that's puma. 
boom bell, right? Yeah. Now warthogs are pretty fast. They can run up to 35 miles per hour. And they love to dig burrows in the earth, allowing it to be their home. <laughs> they use their hoofs, snouts, and tusks. Zebra. On your right side, you'll see some zebras again. And then kind of near it, you'll see an ostrich lying down in the back there. And on the ground here, you'll see some ostrich eggs. I did see those eggs last yeah. The ostriches are the largest birds in the world. Aww. Each egg can weigh up to three pounds. Oh, here's another one. Oh, hello. Ostrich. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>